I and I opener talk to each one of us and also a introduction also about technopreneur what is a technopreneur and also what what is a startup so basically um this presentation of mine was already presented now in one of the groups here association student association here in uh USTP CDO which is the Google Developer Students Club so was able to share in part my uh, knowledge about startup but uh, like what uh, Ma'am Helen no, uh, shared a while ago, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for us na naataka ron sa uh, field, no, sa, nata sa field sa technology and, and engineering. No? And um, and what's common about these companies karon nga makita na to, there is a koang slide, nakipakita ka slide. Ah. So, kanin sila nga mga company, uh, if you have a one word to describe uh, what's the common or unsa ato ang kung tagaan ka ka ng four picks one word ba? Kani kay six, six picks one word ba? Unsa yung mukhang ikasulti ani? Six word, uh, six, six pick one word. Uh, you know, I uh, would like to, I don't know, solicit uh, idea from you or or uh, Mariah. Dido. Para she's, ma she's actually the president now of the College of Technology ng uh, Group Org. So I would like to. Na, gusto daw ko na makadungog si Sir Og uh, thoughts, ideas. Nag out man. Uh, Wala. <laughs> Sige. Sila kay na ulaw pa siguro rin sila. But, but something, uh, kung tangutanon ko ninyo, no, kung, uh, if I describe the six logos or pictures that I'm showing you right now here, so these are companies founded, created by technologists and engineers. So mostly sa ilaha, mga engineers, uh, Mostly karon no sa business ta, sa mga top businesses karon it's not business people anymore uh, working as uh, working in the C suit level no may tag C suit level mana mga CEO CTO and then mga executive no kumbaga top top management it's not anymore the business people why because later on i will explain that uh, na dako kayo ang role sa isa ka uh, isa ka top nasa top management who has this uh, skills knowledge insights about technology and um, and engineering no and even programming no nanadira tanan so there is a technology the college of technology sa saksak sinagol may dire no murag tag jack of all trades kay ra mata kabalo mo mo develop og technology Pwede po takahin mo og basic engineering, no? Because we can do computation, right? And we can also do programming, okay? So this is something that is uh, very common, no? About these uh, logos that I presented. These companies are run, founded um, by by technologists and engineers. And aside from that, now these companies that I'm showing you right now, no? These are companies, company logos, man. Ang um, isa pod sa ay isa pod sa one word no I would like to describe them all is that these are startups. These are startups and and a startup is is actually run by a technopreneur. So so, so mo ni sila ang tawag ani nila nga founder sa sa Facebook no Fa founder and CEO of Facebook is Mark Zuckerberg is an is an engineer no and also an entrepreneur. Now, most of them, after they graduated from, from engineering or technology na mga, na mga courses, what they do, they, they, up, they, they, they go directly to Harvard and, took, uh, and, and will take MBA or business classes. Muna sila nga, muna ginatawag sila nga mga technopreneur. And kasagaran sa mga technopreneur, uh, mga gini, mga startups. And that is the reason why um, I would like to further explain what is a startup. No, so, 
um, uh, to give you a clue what is a startup. So one thing na ginahimo sa mga startup is that they have a scalable business model. What I mean by word scalable is different from the word growing. When we're talking about business growth, it's not the term anymore. Makaluma na kayo ng business growth. It's more about scalable business. Wana siya nga, if, if, your, if your idea is something um, uh, na as a scalable factor, no? and that's because of the technology. Ako kay grow ang technology. No? Kay, kay mo na siya ang, ang reason why you cannot just uh, limit yourself here locally, regionally, or nationwide, but also you can easily penetrate the, the neighboring countries, the ASEAN countries, and even the world. Now look at, for example, um, what's the difference no, of a, a Sari Sari store? Or there's nothing wrong about Sari Sari store or kind of mga small businesses and the one na makita na to sa kanang gina, gina sell dira sa Lazada. Diba? Makita na to nga, if you want to grow your business, you need to add more cost. Diba? Tagan kag cost, kay mudako man po dahil mong revenue. You need to burn money to earn money. Right? Wala siya ang growing. And you need also some sort of investment series. But kung ngayon kag scalable, kaysa ra ka maghimo o ka ng application, no? an e-commerce site, like for example, let's say, no, I'm referring for to Lazada, but Lazada is a free, uh, is a different kind of animal na karun, no? But let's say you created a website for you to reach other region, for you to reach other countries na mo order sa imong mga products or services. So you, you just establish once your your platform and wuli naman ka magrenta every di naman ka technically you're renting for the website but technically it's very cheap uh, compared if you will have a a kanang uh, a wide no wide kaayo ang imong audience worldwide imong audience so di ra kay ka mag problema no so meaning ang cost nimo nagkagamay and then your revenue is is getting higher and this is also true even for hardware so baka maingon mo nga pang hardware pang software ra man siya mapadapat or applicable but this is also applicable to hardware pinakadakwa po ng example ani Apple look at compare iPhone 7 and iPhone 11 i the the cost in creating iPhone 7 no i i, I think iPhone 7 na siya or iPhone iPhone 6 pa to basta ato mga daan ng mga version sa iPhone if you compare that to the cost creating an iPhone let's say iPhone 11 the same ragud na siya the same cost you develop iPhone 6 and and an iPhone 11 but what's the difference ang price no nagkadako gyud ang price <laughs> sa kaning iPhone 6 compared sa iPhone 11 no and at and uh, and and what's shocking about all about this information is that if we compare down ni mo si iPhone 11 that's that's what i i remember or i can recall no basta mo ni ang concept compare down ni mo si iPhone 11 o si iPhone 13 mas barato iproduce si iPhone 13 by a, by a little amount of percentage than developing an iPhone 11 meaning ang cost nila of development nagakagamay as they as they as as they as they go along no on so many improvement in terms of the technology which is the scalable factor of their product nga karon gasaka ang lang revenue and take note apple is the first company who went trillion dollar company and it's on hardware no? so there's a lot of things that we are that we that we would like no to develop no dako gid kayo og kanang future kaning sa field sa technology so and um and to formally describe to you the the meaning of a startup no if you saw the the series no startup korean drama uh, dito gininyo masabtan sa gid ang uh, what it takes to 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 develop or magtukod kag startup so startup is a company ni siya no, founded by one or more entrepreneurs 
but more likely specifically i would i would say here that these are and te technopreneurs so these are technopreneurs founded by one or more technopreneurs to develop unique products or services into the market with initial funding from founders or their friends and family yan so that's a company and moto ang akong ginaingon uh, dapat sa scalable it's not like the sari-sari store kumakita niyo na quick-quick si manang din to mag quick-quick ka it's not about that because it doesn't have is any scalable factor pag ang imuhang business nang grow meaning kung nagadako imong revenue kay dako ang imong ginasunog nga nga expenses then that is not a startup that is not a scalable so that's the definition that sets apart startups run by technopreneur and business run by businessmen and this is a trend for especially for the young people right now because 10% of you nag age at 18 to 34 no sulod pa ko ani diri nga age <laughs> want to quit their monotonous tasks and establish their own empire okay so that's the reason why now um uh, kami na ko narba ako si kung Carl Senior pero naga naga panarbaho gyapon ko but uh but but we we also no on the on the sideline no while while working no on somewhat gina tan, gina gina look na mo forward na mga businesses no startup business is at least no safe uh i i i, I it's safe to do that if you are in the academy because you have a lot of things to explore and uh, the ad, and right now ang 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 chad and even the UST is encouraging faculty uh, na magkaroon po daw kanya-kanya mga businesses. Mo na ang mga mo na ang trend karon, no? Ay sumo na ang diligin mo ma, matingala no, ang inyong mga maestro magnegosyo kay uh, mo na ang gi, mo na ang murag trend karon sa DOST and Chad uh, because we are teaching technopreneurship, no? And uh, hypocrite kay may sige nagtudlo og technopreneurship about business and we don't even own any businesses so even you wala nga kami pod manakod na pod mi sa inyo ha no kaya ayo lang pod mo o pang empleyo kay kapoy kay mga empleyo no so sa akin mo ato mo ato mis bilahan eight no so sayo ka ayo ya galahan pa kay ka matulog and then sahay mo dili lang dili tinuod ng 8 to 5 mo uli ang mga faculty oi uh, usually mo about pagid ng mga alas 8 so alas 9 alas 9 alas 9 alas 10 kay na may mga overload so mana nga lisod kayo ang lisod jud kayo ang manarbaho no but if if on the on the background da kay ginahimo nga kalingawan that will somehow lead you to development new technology that could develop um income and that's innovation so that's the definition of innovation by the way uh, guys no that's what uh, that's that what uh, sets apart uh, kay sige ta og discuss about innovation kaya mo ipakita ako ang ako ipakita nga ko ay uh, definition ah uh, asang i so to ako ang share screen tara Okay. Pakita, no? So this is one thing no, nga, uh, we are always encouraging people, uh, encouraging students no, not, that we are not mere developers of technology, but we are also innovators. No? And this is one thing na, na gusto nato no, na ma-realize nato in the short talk that was assigned to me. Na, I realized that how important um, scaling up our technology to something that could create economic value. So, can I? Bulan. Bulan. Ayan na. Tama? I'm... I'm... I'm opening a, a slide, no? But, yeah, ito. I have here a, uh, some sort of, of a very short presentation about, about how are we able to uh, connecting, no? 
technology in innovation. Uh, Kanisha, I would hope na matatak nyo sa inyo ang kuan unahuna. Hindi nyo ba ako? Napa yung pakita nga yung slides, no? So, ah, sorry. So, uh, I would like to explain, no? Why is it important for us to scale up our technology to something that could create economic value? And this is the explanation. Uh, so, ako ang uh, tara. Yan. Yan, yan, yan. Tara, tara. Yan. Can you see my screen already? So this is the reason why uh, we need to translate no our or convert our technology into something that will create economic value. So this is one of my slides now before in my previous university. And I was explaining about what's the difference between technology and innovation. Because I discourage you to become technologists. Kina-discourage ta mga mahimok mong technology generator lang no or mere inventor but to be innovators no and in order for us to understand what innovation is so innovation is the process of translating ideas into something that is creating a useful products and services for customer that perceive value and are willing to pay meaning you cannot tell that your technology is innovative or something that that is aligned with innovation it doesn't make money basta wala wala na siya kanagahi mo og money uh, wala gyud that is why um, if if you want me to propose um, a, a more kanang a equation for innovation so innovation is actually equivalent to invention so it's a technical solution to a technical problem. And commercialization, which is the process of deriving income or profit from a technology. So that's the, 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 the quick definition of innovation. And we need to scale up no? uh, our technical capabilities. There should be an alignment. There should be an intersection between our technical capabilities and customer needs. And that's where innovation comes in in any in any factors like for example pedita mag innovate in terms of technology we can innovate in terms of process product and services okay so there is no value until the customer needs and capabilities intersect so that's uh, that's the ano lang, that's the slide that I would like you to uh, to see lang uh, in, in my presentation. So, um, so balik tas ako ang original nga presentation. Yeah. Kita man niya kong presentation. So, money siya. So, we need to scale up our uh, thinking from a technologist to an innovator. So, we can sell, no? At the end of the day, sell your technology. We need to go to to the university, matatag yung STP because gusto ko makakatoon ng butang nga maka-enhance akong skill, maka-enhance akong capability, na maka-develop yung technology nga akong ibalik ya. Kung na siya ang new mindset ka ron. And, and something that is, uh, that is that, that you want to create is something that is disruptive. Kaya namin yung kag-disruptive ka ng makaguba. Kung sa may gubun aning technology, gubun niya ang status quo niya ang what's normally people do. Like for example, these companies are example of the disruptive companies. 
Uber, they disrupt the way we commute, di ba? Uh, and grab the way we, we commute. Before, uh, dili lang kayo ni siya applicable sa Cagayan de Oro, but if you stay, if you happen to stay in Manila, and very stressful ka, very stressful kayo ang pag-hire or pag-pangita ang taxi because taxi is very kuan nito. Boss ang taxi dito, no? di kakabuot. But something, if we, if somehow the taxi driver can can be connected to the to the passenger na nagdali or some town nag, 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 nanginanglan sila o comfortable and safe life, then that's how Grab works. No? Apple, they are disrupted in terms of, let's say, they make the first multi-touch phone. No? Uh, before, ang ginagamit katong PDA, kasi kung ano ng PDA, no? katong naapit tayo stylus-stylus, no? o katong kung nakainumdo mo sa Blackberry, katong na keypad no? So, uh, they create, they disrupt the, the 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 phone industry before. Na may mo siyang first multi-touch uh, smartphone. And Tesla, syempre. Tesla, karon nagkamahal ang itong mga gasolina. And in the future, 2030, well, we will face a scarcity in oil. So, it's it's very timely that we need electric vehicles all the way. Maabot kailang time na mag-electric vehicles na gitang tanang dire. Alright? And Facebook, no? It's about kanang connecting other people. Before, we cannot connect easily to our tito titas. We we don't know who are our tito and titas and our relatives. But right now in Facebook, at right, the searching their name, naginaingon sa itong mga kinikanan, we can already search them. Then Airbnb, I don't know if you heard about Airbnb. But this is also a disruptive technology because if you happen to stay in one place and 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 instead of hotel, a hotel very norm naman kaya na nung amat ako laing lugar, hotel gud ka. But you don't enjoy the culture. You don't enjoy how the people is actually living there with their culture. Then that's the experience that Airbnb is providing you. You can rent you know, a room that is available for 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 the landlords no or tagiya sa balay and ipahuram niya sa imo with a very cheap price and a very accommodative na na uh, very accommodative na na feature you need to have great greens no pare ani sila ni nang dosan no so uh, it's not uh, it's not good na since ang startup kailangan yun siya kauto kay git good no but doesn't mean nga kung dili ka mag doesn't mean kung medyo buguon ka, di na ka mag-startup. No. It's a challenge sa inyo ha. Because each one of us, not with expertise, you cannot be a jack of all trades. Even ikaw, nag-skwela ka technology, but kabalo ka mag-communicate. Mag and that's a talent. That's a, that's a something a specialty for you. When you're looking out for a co-founder, you need T-shaped people. Meaning, T, ka nang become sa iya horizontal na line. Di ba? Sa T. It means diverse ang skills niya. But, kanang vertical, no? Sa T, something deep po dang iyang expertise. Sa isa ka, particular expertise in a, in a field. So, that's the people that we want to know. So, people that could help us, no? Not only in the technology, because it's not good also that all of you are technology people who will do that business. And and who will do the, some of the things that how will, uh, that will make the business grow and scalable okay and uh and bottom you know you need to really be with a co-founder because um even though nga, if na amo tanan nga kwan eh mo lang search search likan sa 106 million google answers that's not even enough you really needed a co-founder that would help you no kaya for example kana amo tanan technology so you need someone that is um, that is that is that is the great na alam ka idea yan alam mo itanan ka mo um, ka mo tanan is ka ng uh, techno, mga nasa technology or sa engineering uh, it's not all about it no and you just uh, if you if you want to 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 do the business dali ra na matunan ka mas search sa google it's not all about it but uh, mato akong ginaingon um, it's not about technology generation, but it's all about how you sell your 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 product or services, no?
uh, your technology, how will you able to sell that? So, kailangan niyo mo business plan. And this is something na wala kaayo na tudlo no? sa TOA, sa TOA um, um, college life. That is why naatay mga technopreneurship. I don't know if you take seriously about our technopreneurship na subject, but di niyo makita kung sa kain ng danon nga kana nga subject will help us to to have a uh, to have a brief understanding about what the, what are the component of a business plan. Unsa so, dapat na sa isang business plan? Sa ang template tana niya unsa atong pangbutang dira, no? So it's all about generating income out from your technology that you develop. And aside from that, no, kailangan po ni mo of people, no, ngayon po, nag-ipasang suganiha, dili mo dapat tanan engineers and technologists. You need also somewhat like Dalmi, no? Dalmi who do, who do the business thing. No? When he is the one, she is the one, no, that will, that, that will able to, to treat you like kana bitang uh, co-founder, kanang nagutay mo kompleto sa inyong team chemistry uh, man siya so kay sa so, amanan nimo nga hawod mo tanan or nagkuha ka bisa ka kauban nga nga dili pod mo magka-match og mga batasan no so somehow uh, it's very important no nga magkaroon gyud og team chemistry aron nga mo success ang inyong mga plano like this no Nay mga nay mga kuha nay mga conflict so it should be addressed properly and it should be uh, with the consent of all of the founders and if you have already the great idea you have the great team to do the technology and you have plus the chemistry no you have business people you have designers inside the team and that's that's the secret secret ingredient na diya ko nag-start ang most of the companies right now na naging successful. Tanawa ang trend karon Before, sa 2011, kaning mga nature sa mga ang top 10 companies with the greatest market capitalization, mostly mga, uh, mga grocery, uh, hinahinay na naga 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 invade the technology kay natin China Mobile na nasi kisa may mga technology dire na si Apple na si Apple na si Microsoft na si IBM and one two three four no there are only four technology startups or companies nga na adire listed sa uh, sa top ten uh, companies with greatest market capitalization but look at last year <laughs> Tanawa, top 1, top 2, top 3, 4. Ang, ang, ang alphabet is Google na siya. Tesla, Meta, Nvidia, and Berkshire Hathaway. These are all technology companies. So, tanan ni sila technology company. You try to imagine what will happen if this will also implemented in the Philippines. So, dako kayo ang iya contribution sa uh, economic growth. No, so think, think about Apple, they just started from the garage. Think about Microsoft, they just started from the garage. Alphabet, they just started from the garage. Amazon, they just started from the garage. Tesla, garage, Kani, garage siya, meaning they started as a startup. But right now, they are a complete and stable company. Okay? And and that happens, no? Dili na talayo, dili sa kagayan di oro, no? Okay. Kani silang tanan, ganit tanan nga top 10 company, they just concentrate in one place here in Silicon Valley. Para sila daw si, si Tesla. Uh, this is yung ganito, si, si Intel, na, si Airbnb, nagtapok pro sila aning nga lugar. At kabalog mo, mas dako pa ang kagayan di oro ata aning Silicon Valley. No? Mo nang... There is a kagayan, no? there is a kanang, kanin sila nga mga, actually, sa po sa reason why, kano nga na ano sila, na asa na sila magsugod, nagsugod po na sila sa mga eskwelahan like Berkeley, University of California. Na po, there is si, asa ka, there is si, na, there is si Kwan, si Stanford, asa Stanford na, basta na Stanford, tala Stanford, na pa isa ka company, na pa isa ka school, there is, so, actually, these are also, uh, mga, most of the founders are graduates or alumni from these universities. Ay mo to anang drop out, drop out na yung successful. Ayaw to na kay. That's only uh, according to statistics you have 
ten times more um, ten times more ang success sa mga tao nga na ay mga masters and doctorate degree no in tech in, in align with technology and businesses then those who drop out so ang um, drop outs one in a million na kaya na sila manggawas but dili kumpensahan ang point sa dito dili lang kumpensahan ni mga drop outs na no? especially the drop outs who can really put themselves already working no but somehow ang point na ko din ni eh, dili gyud nato ikakumpensa ang 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 breeding na ginahimo sa toa sa university because somehow the university will really help you along the way and that's what we do right now no sa Cagayan de Oro no hinahimay ta dire and currently natay mga projects karon that is ginatapos na to ang mga ang uh, mga stakeholders sa innovation creating an innovation consortium to help you no students become who wants to be a tech entrepreneur to have a full support system in terms of funding in terms of business coaching and mentoring para mahimo mong successful along the way because when you talk about business because ako mag isa ko mag business ko mag experience man ar bawas ako aron na makabalo ko sa on nga sa on nga mo treat sa ako mga empleyado and that's a wrong concept or that's a wrong mindset why because you have mentors you have already successful businesses along the way there is a kagadoor that could help you how to be successful and even handle your employee even you don't have yet the employment experience okay and and that effort that we are currently working in make made kagayan de oro at the top 493 kaya ta oy around 493 pero sa pilipinas kita ang top 3 no next to ko cebu okay and dagan kayo po diri sa to ang kuano eh karon i'm currently managing that cdo bikes ah uh, kanisa dili man sa kong effort but this is the effort of the previous nga that handle ani si Leo Bites but look at what they did for 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 pila naman for like five years na nata nag operate no sila ka nag start up gikan diri no then mga nata alumni kani sa taga si IT ni siya and the si IT ni siya si kani si si Guriha no na protest yun by Stanford and we have also mga nagkuan lang nag take lang sa uh, graduates lang no sa to ang technopreneurship subjects sa Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology chat me so I don't know if you're familiar with that but they're earning in the Play Store right so kita na to nga um but before na abot sila ani nga success so dako gud kayo pud ang ilang mga sacrifices so, nag daghan pud jud og kanang stages of kanang um nga kadang nagikan sila sa kanang kawalan pud ang so nga nag skill sila no? So this is the kaya makita ng product market fit. So oh, kaning validation. So basta ang uh, ang uh, concept that uh, here at the university we are currently working on these four stages. No? And this is your job already if you want to proceed that on the professional level or outside the university. No? So that kaya support system na to ang government karon no dili lang atong university but ang uh, DICT, DTI and DST they give fund and even we just assisted no a startup na magkaroon sila og okay, kanang 5 million grant no we will give you 5 million just to develop your product and your service so ina na ka generous ang atong government karon and 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 one thing lang that i would like to emphasize more is that um dili yun uh, natural lang yun ang fake to start up not of all of them who started start up Uh, succeeded most of them failed because na uh, actually 90% to 10% ang success rate lang kung mag start up ka but this is something uh, kaning uh, kaning uh, information is something that is not kanang mga afraid ka ba or mahadlok ka why because ang reason laman nga nung nag fail sila is kani ra man pun no need for a product that is why kita ko mag develop ganito og mga thesis proposal or maging ta or something mag karon ta concept let's say of business no murag gyud gyapon na siya mag proposal thesis proposal no sayo so, maguna magunang solution ninyo kaysa kana problem nga gina-solve ninyo so dapat yun maguna gyud po sa problem nga gusto niyo i-solve ay ha ninyo i ibutangan og solution okay so yeah so 
So and and one thing now that will help you along the way also are people who can help you financially. So not only doha class, we have venture capital and angel investment. So one thing I'm going to handle is angel investment. Why? Because they fund you and also help you grow your business. A venture capital, they are not only paying you, they are also paying your interest. But Uh, but in the startup, wala kayo capital, wala kayo kwarta, hindi ko ka negosyo kayo, wala kwarta, it's not a problem because in the innovation ecosystem, we do have investors na no? makahelp for you, no? Pili lang ka, venture capital ba ka or angel investment. But kung in angel investment ka, you really need to 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 ano give up a certain equity, a certain percentage of your company to them because they help you along the way, right? Yan. Tapos, Um, and 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 these things, no, is one thing na um, kaning um, gina 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 work out kina to dili sa sa USDT. We have a um, uh, I'm since I'm handling the CDO bite, so we have incubation programs, no. So pre incubation gina ready ka na mo na uh, na ready na mo ka sa yung skills para ready ka sa incubation program, and that's our spark club. The incubation program, tuluan ka na mo kung saan nga may mong investable lang mong startup. And then day one day, diya na niya may present kami mo ha, investable startup. So mo na mong tulu ka din uh, program. No? And happy na po biya ni kay sa for the for the past, no? for, the, for the as of ano ata ni, as of uh, uh, I think for gili ko nyo ang hindi tatak mo rin. あ、たらたら。なまりにあんこんで。まりにデータでアイン。たらたら。なこいシェア。あ。This is something that uh, we are very happy no, about the result of the help that we extend to our uh, startups, sa mga technopreneurs na to, no, nga ginatabangan na to dili sa to ang space. So nata karo 51 incubating and we have 37 graduates. And karo no, katong ito mga startup na kung di teacher karo, they have already received 45 million investment. And they have already working with 69 million total revenue generated. And syempre mo, gini-importante, no? naka-create sila of 229 jobs. So that's the success story. So, um, then, uh, ano siya gani ha? Yeah, so this is something that we are, we need to be proud of, no, sa to ang, ano. So, yeah, so that's, Uh, yeah, so that's that's our I don't know. Uh, this is our program, and um, uh, from Office DI, no, na very active sa social media, CDO bytes, session niya sa 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 Facebook page, and go sa na no kay namin karon ongoing na event no how to start a startup uh, live karon sa ano ang kwa with pre certificate pre e certificates. So do hope no nga maka-attend mo karon yung regular ko man Um hopefully nga maka pad maka sugod pa kundugan sa inyo ha but I think this will end my presentation I do hope no na inspired ka mo uh, mas ma-inspire pa gid mo kay naman si Rick Coldiri uh, could could tell you about how how they started here what are the support given by the university and what are their plans no because Rickol is one of our What will be one of our incubate no, on the cohort six. So, as you think, makawana na mo karon ng kanang startup pod, you can also apply no for a cohort or business kwan. Marami siya, marami niya siya kanang kung sa gawas niya, marami niya business coaching ba nga program pero university based lang siya. And uh, so, katol lang no. I do hope uh, dagamu na katunan today. so much uh, sir uh, engineer dr lorilia for 
a very inspiring uh, talk <laughs> about a startup, starting business. Um, actually, I, I said congratulations na sa chat and I even, no, nag-clap gid ko sa akong hands because it's really good. They have actually generated 229 kabuk jobs from the from the startup. So, as what Jack Ma said, don't worry about katong ingon niya no nga, ingon siya na nga, kay Uh, Elon Musk always uh, mentioned nga uh, jobs will be scarce daw and ana but Jack Ma said don't worry about that the more daw ko no nga magta- magkataas ang technology the more jobs will be generated so i guess at this point tama si Jack Ma no kasi uh, with the uh, startups being generated being created in even the USTP they have actually generated at least 229 jobs so Uh, siguro si Recall karon um, uh, after siya mag-speak or after siya incubate naman siya ni Kuan, si Dio Byte. So after no mo successful sila, I think they will be generating more jobs as well. So uh, at this point, uh, ako nang ihatag ang mic sa Recall uh, people. Thank you so much, uh, Sir uh, Engineer uh, Lorelia, uh, the TBI manager for very inspiring and uh, na inspired gid ka ayong ming tanan sa imo ang message, Sir. So thank you so much, Sir. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and uh, Rick, uh, we have here Jumarian Yonkov from Recall, and um, wala kay and also Jose Ignacio Takolayan. Hello, hello guys, hello sirs, moms. Uh, I'm going to give to you the the mic, and um, actually, I I invited um their coach, uh, engineer Jogs, um, uh, to to present no recall, but uh, busy man daw siya, so ang iyan na lang gi pasa sa mga. Uh, recall people to 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 inspire and share us. So we are very thankful uh, for all of you uh, to to speak to us. Kay my EMT students and as well as other guests here are very um, in need of that one, especially kato mga graduating, so that they will also be inspired to 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 follow your steps, no, and to, to do also a start up and uh, maybe in the future venture sa business when they graduate. Thank you so much and I'm going to give the mic uh, sa... Okay, thank you Sir French for uh, a short time ngayon maghihatag sa amo. Okay, so go ahead um, Jumarian and uh, Jose, right? Hey, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. So, good morning, everyone. I see Kathleen Maydi. Ay, ay, dili. Ito di ang mga... Okay. Dohara mo kabuok, no? We are three, ma'am, but um, mukha pa siyang third member, oh, okay, supposedly. Right. Okay, thank you. So, you can actually share your screen kung naamoy i-present. And um, okay, so na I name ng recall ba pasta ko an? Kaubana niyo. Thank you. Uh, go ahead. Um, yeah, we call one Haji. Okay, so <laughs> how do I the intro? Sorry, kayo for. For the introduction, uh, maglisod ko introduce kay Dili kayo ko familiar sa inyo, guys. I mean, as uh, si Sir Jogs is the coach and uh, he's, he's been he's actually my mentor with the robotics. So familiar, but uh, with the recall, di ko sure asa mga department. I'm not sure asa mga college. So I I I would like to give to you the floor to to introduce yourself if okay lang. Sorry about that, uh, and also sorry for okay. the late. Sorry for the late ko and um. Uh, invitation, no? Ayan. Um, oh, nice, sir. Introduction na on. Sige, so, um, good morning, everyone. I am Jumarian Yonko from the Electronics Engineering Department. Then, um, other members, partners na ko are from Mechanical Engineering Department. We're also graduating students that 
that just um got into startup because of our coach. Uh, so from the mechanical engineering department, uh, my name is Jose Ignacio Tacolayan and the other is Leonard Greg Ibanez. So our startup name is called Recall Technologies. So we started on November, officially on November, oh, I if I November. remember correctly. On November correctly. Um, so experiences for startup. Um, technically, I was the last one to join the startup team because the team did a researcher, the, the team needed a researcher for the for the startup for the startups uh, contest. So I was just invited, but other leader Leonard Gigabanez uh, has a has a vision to help the Fisher. Uh, Sure, the Rico Technologies, again, uh, sorry. <laughs> the Rico Technologies uh, focuses on the fisher folks because there is a needed gap for the market in the fishes transportation since uh, the fishes need to be cooled down using ice. But the problem is, is that each fisher folks needed around 3,000 pesos per month just for ice alone only. So it's kind of a, like an uh, inefficient way to to cool or to cool fishes for that thing. So that is our problem. So our recall, our recall team uh, made a solution for that, which is uh, our product, the recall smart box. So as of now, we have actually two products that we're planning to um, present. The first one would be um, the product that you said that uses Peltier modules as the cooling system. And then the second one would be recycling um, refrigerators. So, and we're um, probably going to sell it at like base price that fishermen can afford as well as we're planning on also partnering with government, the government and fishermen organizations. So it's easier for them to pay and so I'm sharing here, guys, your katong uh, post by QBO Philippines, um, where you have uh, won the first runner. Uh, you have uh, no, uh, been the first runner up during the competition. So, actually, um, this is actually to inspire some of my all of the students no para they can also um venture into startup so imagine there are i think pila mo ka book nag join ani nga competition gani uh, 100 plus or i don't know three lang ma'am ay i look for 150 no, plus ma'am according to QBO ma'am so 100 plus mo ka book uh, mga startups nga nag join Dere, yes, ma and, yes, ma and imagine um you are the first runner up after ni after ni Patagon from Ateneo de Manila no so imagine you STP uh second uh that second no first runner up is second so uh it is really really good for the university nga wow uh, they 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 reach this kind of level no uh, in the competition and it's really really a good uh, thing for the university <laughs> right so congratulations you guys and you guys um i would i would like to ask no mga ginagmay nga kuan explanation or unsa gid ang recall kung okay lang sa inyo and then how you started um, who gave the idea and how are the difficulties what are the difficulties during the during the process no of creating the the prototype or or even the papers or or those things during especially during pag join sa competition unsa mga hardships ninyo na experience and all that so if okay lang okay so um um first of all um, Recall Smart Box is really aimed to help local fishermen na maka save up sila money as well as lessen plastic wastage na brought by 
usage of ice. Tapos, for our topic, um, we started actually from the idea of Sir Diog. Tess's idea. Tapos, we just did. <laughs> the topic just went along some several competitions, joining and stuff. Trick. Hi, Riz. <clears throat> Tas, um, for the hardships, mom, my, I, for the hardship, guys, I think one of the hardships that we experienced is that at every competition that we joined, everyone was like professionals, like actual professionals that already have their own businesses then thus they just wanted to venture into another business so everyone was pretty much experienced then they were just babies compared to the people that were there so yeah that was one of the hardships Riz. oh fine So other hardships for this, uh, especially during the competitions, and especially during the what you call this, um, the pitching part, where you sell your ideas to the judges and possible investors of your business, is that you need to have the potentiality that your product, as said by Sir Kanina, to have the potential of a scalability, and also additionally, it also needs the potential to be sustainable and also. a green technology because one of the judges uh, criterion for that is that they, they sh- it should be sellable and it should be scalable and it should be sustainable because without that we're just creating another product for wastage uses so so during the competitions and during the pitchings we need to sell the idea that our product has the potential to do that So as uh, as as, as what said by Miss Jumaria and Kanina, um, we're just very fortunate that we that we met some people or or who are also professionals that which are some some are doctors, some are already uh, masters and architects, some are already um 40 plus years in running a businesses. So we we are grateful for those experiences. Now we have met those people; they gave us insights. And the investors also gave us their insights to as what to improve, and as what to what do they need that what do they need more from uh from a beginning startup businesses, um, I guess the thing that I can say is that <coughs> believe just uh, just just like what Sir Jogs always said to us, believe in yourself and believe in your and believe in your team. I guess. That's all I can share. Okay, so I'm going to open the the floor to uh, the students who wants to ask question. No, so this is going to be a Q and A portion for the for others to to ask. No, um, the recall people with regards to uh, starting up a business. Okay, ako naman tong gisug no questions. I hope others will also follow and ask questions no if they are really interested in. So, uh, my next question would be, ako na lang sa magpangutana no. Um, did you get a funding after uh, winning the ano, the the competition from QBO Philippines? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, with how much competition that we joined? Ah, so katong price lang, price. Ah. Yeah, the murag nga na siya, ma'am. Like, uh, if you're part of the top three, they'll give you funding as well as it, it's included na sa price. So, if it's okay, can we ask kung pila po? <laughs> pila ito is 20? Uh, KBO is, at, for the third place is 10,000. Second place is twenty thousand, and the for the grand champion is thirty-five So is that already enough to 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 fund the startup menu? or mostly, ma'am. Uh, it's just the money will be used as capital for the product development, po, ma'am. Mm-hmm. So and how the much other... does it 
does does it cost for one recall smart box? So for the for the startup team, ma'am, uh, we plan to sell it for six thousand pesos. But right now, we're still in the midst of product development and for the improvements, so ma'am. Like we need to get, we need it to be um, smaller. We need to be much more efficient. So if it's uh six thousand, pila po dang, uh, If you're selling it for six thousand, how much does it uh, cost ang iyang production? And I'm um, thinking about pila ang inyong ginansya, no? <laughs> uh, mom, so for the six thousand, mom, uh, we just uh since we're not really business bonus, so we're not we're not technically business England, mom, mom, um. We just estimated the numbers and we just mark it up for around 30%. So, and that's what we got the 6,000. So mm -hmm. right now we're seeing the product development and uh, especially in the components, in the looking for the component stage because we still, what you call this? We still haven't reached our, our expected goals for the product, for the scalability and also for the, for the investors. So we still haven't uh, finalized the product to what the in, to what the investors envision. Oh, okay. So uh, my next question is, um, how? What do you think the electromechanical people can also be able to produce such product? Nga pwede nila in market. So my students are actually graduating in electromechanical technology and um, I have high expectations from them because of being electromechanical. So um, uh, I'm sure you guys have also have a lot of ideas, pero, um, but you're into electronics, diba? So how about um, um, the electromechanical? They're, they're, they have subjects from mechanical also and... Um, mechanical technology and uh, with electronics. So do you think they can also produce uh, products such as this one that can be on Saba um, in competition with other also uh, schools like you, di ba? I'm sure daghan po mong nabangga ng mga school. So yeah, um, mato akong question. Do you think my electromechanical students really have a, have a chance with this um, kind of competitions uh, actually mom very good job very, it is very not if we can work very mom, proper <laughs> <laughs> mom, <laughs> mom, <laughs> mom, <laughs> guys tabang mom EMT jud mom is dai tong drink sa product development ko mom naka mi sa faculty man sa EMT man sa mom which is um dagan og comments and ideas yun from EMTs. So, so technically ma'am rag nag nagpatabang yung si EMT kaya po ma'am. So yes ma'am uh, for the EMT students ma'am na they can if they want to join the startup ma'am they can actually join ma'am and I think they have uh, the potential to even win. Basta lang ma'am uh, what the judges want lang po is and also the investors is they just want to see the innovation of the products, not not, not just a stagnant repeating products. Lang po. Thank you so much. No, dagan kay sila mga giingon, guys. Uh, gusto na ko mangutana ko mga students. Um, I'd like to hear from you uh, questions uh, and then take this opportunity nga mangutana mo sila. Imagine uh, when they are creating the product, they're actually asking the electromechanical people. So, how much more kita no they they, they are they, we are already in this field they dagan kayo tag mga idea so uh, i think we, we we are only lacking the inspiration and to even this to start no eh una una man gud nato we're just um technology ana di takakaya so oy na sya pangutana ako na lang basahon na si Juniel Nino Franco he's asking what are your step by step strategy you will execute in future to make your product cease in the market. Murag ang pasabot niya no is um, after siguro mo nakadaog, unsa ang inyong mga step nga buhaton to be able to really commercialize the product? Uh, so, the step, actually, one of the first steps is actually 
uh, we're, we're in a second step na po, um, actually creating the product, um, um, developing the product. Next would be, um, there will be test runs, uh, uh, you know, simulated runs in the, kind of ito, <laughs> kind of ito mag simulated run mi sa Fisherman's, para ito makabalo sa gamit sa products because need medyo na siya para makabalo mi, o say, o say cool lang sa products, kay basin ang product na mo, basin dili na ka siya isog ka kaayo, basin after one week, itaya na dilit so, kaya nara sa dagat, or basin mga three days, nabasa dilit so. So, for a beginning startups, we need to see the durability and dur durability sa, sa among product para para magdugay dito siya. Okay, ibang product magkuhan nara, if mga tama na siya one week or one month, like, what do you call it? Eh, wala dito in the long run, what you mapalit na tugay yan and di ma-fail yung mga startup yun noon. So, 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 another, um, other po si mong question po is, among products po is, we need to tap sa other market aside sa mga, among priority market which are sometimes the food and beverages na mga market, um, the, sa mga, na mga delivery na, ka na mga delivery na market and such. Um, I guess, I hope na answer na ko yung question. So, okay na to, Junel. Uh, Nasatisfy ra ka sa pangota uh, sa tubag ni sa taga recall. So, I think um, as an incubate sa sa CDO Bytes, they already have the ano no? They already have the process or the step by step uh, especially for the com hantod sa commercialization nga part no so uh, they are actually in good hands and um, that's what I'm also thinking with with this electromechanical students if they want to venture with startups uh, they will be murag ilabay ragi hapon muna ako dito sa ko ano sa CDO bytes kay they they actually already have a good na ano sila good nga kuan um record with regards to launching mga uh, startups. So, they will, I, I guess, they will also follow sa steps or sa process ni CDO Bytes. Tama ba, Recall? No? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, any more question? Others? Uh, by the way, ha, na ako yung share nga na ako share nga form, Google form. And um, I hope you will be able to answer this one. Uh, I think this is actually for senior high, but I'm giving this um, form para sa inyo pod. Uh, so you can also provide us with answer. And this will be part of the research paper I'm actually doing. And your answers will also be part of the analysis. Okay? So I hope you can answer this one, guys. Uh, Thirty-two pakabok ang nagrespond. So I hope you can um uh answer tanan kamo kayo. I think you or you are sixty here, so your your response will be very important and will be part of a uh, ongoing research. Okay. So any more uh pangutana, Dave? Do you have a question? Uh, Charles. Uh, Cyril. Noel, uh, Julina, Brian, uh, Joseph. So, any chance that you guys will start with doing um, a business in the future? Uh, by the way, since ang um, Siri called, you are all electronics engineering students, right? So, when you graduate, uh, mag-focus na ba mag sa inyo ang pag-business or mag-take mag-exam, board exam, and then manarbaho ragyapon? What do you think? Um, for our future plans, ma'am, uh, for our leader, ma'am, uh, si, Kuya, si Kuya Greg po, ma'am, eh, we want to focus muna on the board exam first to priority our board exam muna. And uh, also for Jumaria, I think she, she, yes. Yes, I'm also going to focus first on my board exam. 
Okay. Then, so, what about after, the, the product? Are you going to, on saan man ninyo siya, dili ninyo siya i-commercialize? Um, yet? Not yet, as of now. Mm, okay. So, and then after you finish the board exam, uh, depende na tayo, no? Kung on saan, kung an, may tabo, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, but actually, ma'am, uh, we plan lang to put uh, this our recall, ma'am, as a side, as a as a side hustle during the during the review time, for ma'am, because because if we put too much, ma'am, maybe we will get distracted during the board exam, for ma'am. Mm. Okay. So I'd like to hear from from Lloyd. Uh, what do you think, Lloyd? <laughs> Uh, are you also interested in, in sa venturing into business? I think you already have a business, Lloyd, no? Yes, ma'am. So can you can you share to us a little bit um, with the business that you're uh, having? And um, do you think you can also do a startup and be an incubator by the CDO Bytes? Ano na kong business, ma'am, kaning internet service provider ko, ma'am, pero uh, kaning much, na siya sa kaning mas, kaning expensive na kaning type of business, ma'am, pero kaning, if kung mag-start up ka, ma'am, I think ang uh, mga start up ni mo, I think mga, ang mga imong magasto is nasa mga 20 above. Okay, so do you think um, you can uh, start uh, with us uh, with this kind of thing and uh, para naatay representative from our college from the electromechanical technology that will be an incubator by CDO Bytes because that's what one of my goals also that maybe uh, within next uh, during summer makaproduce taog one a product output that we can be an incubator with the CDO Bytes because see, uh, Engineer French Lorelia is actually a part of the College of Technology family. So we have to take advantage of that one. Nga, ang atong TBI manager is na sa atong college. So anytime nga natay two years ay ya. And then uh, that's why we need to be able to produce at least pila ka book five or ten ka incubate sa ato ang college. And mausad na siya ang rason nga, invite na ako si Recall para makita ninyo ba nga, oh wow, mga students, pwede na sila sa, sa USTP that they are also students that have been able to really create their own business. No? What do you think, Lloyd? So I'm giving this as a challenge to all of you, not only for Lloyd, but also for even for the graduating students. What do you think? Possible, Ramon. Okay, so so I hope that you can um think about this and um uh I'll be uh doing some groups groupings and then maka start the yunta with our startup. We discuss with what kind of product we're going to do, and um uh Lloyd will be one of the 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 leader for the for the startup. I am very sure of that. So, any more question? Lloyd, nakay pangutan na sa mga recall nga mga people? None so far, ma'am. So, again, ay na pangutan na. Thank you, thank you, Lloyd. Ay na pangutan na si Joseph, no? How does your product works? What are the principles behind in your innovation, sir, ma'am? So, uh, medyo interested siya, no, sa inyo ang technology. Uh, can the, one of the recall people answer the question? Uh, yeah. Ang pangutana niya is how does it work now? How does uh, what is the principle behind? I think um mm. it should be the mm. HVAC, right? Not not mm. HVAC no. Ah, okay, no, sige. Ah. I got you okay. What it overall I the overall working sa Pelter modules is more um, how do I explain that? Exchange with Aosha. Like the other side goes, well, the other side heats up. So, more like exchange of energy na concept. So, using ka ng modules, more ang cool side sa module is muna yung nakasulod sa box. And then, muna siya ang mag-help to pull. What's the conversation? <laughs> 
result is with your efficiency. We actually calculate it. For the filter module, ang gamit, gamit to na na mo. Then, uh, bali, ang, ang theory na is, which is gamit mi o kanang heat transfer na theories, which is the kanang mm, dili, dili po siya reverse Carnot cycle po. Dili man siya ko. Dili man siya compressor man siya. Kay kanang Carnot cycle is pang refrigeration man na o aircon. Kay ang gamit na mo is a filter modules or specifically thermoelectric thermoelectric siya na thermoelectric modules. Kanang, module. kanang pag diretso niya ko o ng ang kainit yan ni Gawas sa Picas. So muna siya. Uh, module siya uh, actually uh, it's a electronic component na mo i-transfer niya ang heat sa sulod pagawas yang heat so mabil if mawala ang heat sa sulod mabilin bugno may na siya dayon so heat transfer ang gamit ra pero dili siya Carnot cycle siya dili siya refrigeration okay, cycle ang ang cubic effect ang ginagamit Mm. Na if na day current is na day temperature difference between sa side sa filter module. So. I think answer na to So okay na ba Lloyd? Uh, were you satisfied with the answer? <laughs> um I'm I'm also, I'm also not Uh, sure, wala pa ko ka familiar sa efficiency uh, ka conversion efficiency sa module. I I will look into it. I'm not uh, really quite um master with this um topic, no. So, I think the technology is very new, right? Because it's a module. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um actually, ma'am, uh thermoelectric modules ma'am especially the si tawag ni kana mga the cheaper ends of the thermoelectric na modules ma'am um this is actually very inefficient to ma'am unlike the very expensive was na efficient ang mga cheaper ends kay grabe ka inefficient to siya like uh wala kalasik ko rin tip para makabugnaw lang og mga 2 degrees down na sa dayon wala na nag nagatan siya lang meeting Nag-attend siya Glenn meeting. How did you... Uh, uh, um, sir, have low commercial rates. Okay, look. Um, so, fine. Weird, weird siya, pero kitagan na mo ang Peltier sa Osaka box. So, muna yung nangak... So, muna yung nakamasaka inefficient bilang niya kay kagadagan yung Peltier, mas kagadagan ko yung power pa dyan niya pa dyan. Dili may gagamit lang o one lang jud na thermoelectric na module lang um gagamit jud mi og pila ta ko book jud mi ta book jm 6 6 ka filter na modules so murag 5 5 not 6 5 5 ka 5 ka filter na modules bali if magdagan siya og 1 hour mo gamit siya og 1 kilowatt na 1.5 kilowatt na electricity nag grabe ka siya ka mahal palagsa na dili ka kayag battery kay panalagsa pud gani siya Muna ang gina-research dito na mo ron is to have a more efficient na uh, mas much more na efficient dito na cooling system dito na mo dito siya. O smaller. O efficient yung paggamit sa electricity. Okay. So. Thank you so much for the answers, no? Um. Dili na nako taason ang ato ang Q&A kay um na pamantay later no mubalik pamantay later so I also have another meeting and going right now so for busi mao pa among gina research okay so <laughs> thank you so much no from the recall and um I hope that um my students have been koan na ano sila na na koan na inspired, inspired no <laughs> so i'm not going to to delay more uh, maura to siya 
uh, thank you so much for uh, jo uh, joining us in the webinar and for sharing and inspiring my students. Actually, I think dagan pa na sila pangutana no, maulo lang sila mangutana. So, um, maybe in the in the future, I will also ask again, no, uh, your presence and I will invite you again for the webinar. So, thank you so much and um, maybe we can go back by 1.30 p.m. So, dili na nako dugay no. Uh, let's go back by 1:30 for another um, discussion later. Thank you so much, everyone, especially sa recall ng mga people, si JM, Jamari, and Jose. Thank you for joining us. And um, Thank you kayo, ma. Uh, to others, um, please answer the forms ng akong gi 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 share dere, and then I see you later. Okay. Thank you. Ang, ang uban, you can just stay here and um, others, you can uh, leave the meeting and uh, get back by 1.30. tahun 2001 maka data oke okay. Yeah, it is okay, Miss Ellen.
Hello, Miss Kevin. I think we should uh, discussion about the schedule, right? We have a proposed schedule for next week, I think, because in this week, our president have another meeting in another province. <laughs>
I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. The biggest issue I see with so-called AI experts is that they, they think they know more than they do. Um, and they think they're smarter than they actually are. This, is, this tends to plague, plague smart people. They, they define themselves by their intelligence and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. I'm really quite close to, or very close to, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. It's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows and the rate of improvement is exponential. It feels like we are the biological bootloader for AI, effectively. We are building it. And then we're building progressively greater intelligence. And the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. And eventually, we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. It's going to come faster than anyone appreciates. I think it's, with, with each passing year, the sophistication of, of computer intelligence is, is growing dramatically. I, I mean, I really think we're on an exponential uh, improvement path of um, artificial intelligence. And the, and the number of smart humans that are developing AI is also increasing dramatically. I mean, if you look at like, the attendance at the um, AI conferences, they're, they're doubling every year. Um, they're getting full. Um, I have a, a, a sort of a young cousin of mine who's graduating from Berkeley um, in computer science and physics, and I asked him, like, well, how many of the smart students are studying AI in computer science? And the answer is all of them. Well, the better approach uh, or, or better outcome is that uh, we achieve democratization of AI technology, meaning that uh, no one company or uh, small set of individuals has control over advanced AI technology. I think that that's very dangerous. Um, it could also get stolen by somebody bad, you know, like some evil dictator of the country could send their intelligence agency to go steal it and gain control. It just becomes a very unstable situation, I think, if you've got any um, any incredibly powerful AI. Um, you just don't know who's, who's going to control that. So it's not as though I think that the risk is that the AI would develop a will of its own right off the bat. I think it's more, it's, uh, the concern is that some, someone um, may use it in a way that is bad. Um, or, or, and even if they weren't going to use it in a way that's bad, that somebody could take it from them and use it in a way that's bad. That, that I think is quite a big danger. We are, all of us, already are cyborgs. Um, so you have a machine extension of yourself in the form of your, your phone and your computer and all your applications. You are already superhuman. But by far, you have more, more power, more capability than the President of the United States had you know, 30 years ago. Um, if you have an internet link, uh, you, you have an oracle of wisdom, you can communicate to millions of people, you can communicate to the rest of Earth instantly. Um, I mean, these are magical powers uh, that didn't exist not that long ago. So everyone is already superhuman. I think it's, the singularity is probably the right word because we just don't know what's going to happen um, once uh, there's intelligence substantially greater than that of a human brain. I mean, most of the movies and TV featuring AI, they don't, describe it in quite the way it's likely to actually take place but I think you just have to consider like even in the benign scenario where um, AI if AI is much smarter than a person um, what what do we do yeah what what is that what job do we have I have to say that when you know when, when something is a, a danger to the public then the, there needs to be some 
government agency, like regulators. But the fact is, like we've got regulators in, um, you know, the aircraft industry, car industry, uh, with drugs, food, um, you know, and, and anything that's sort of a public risk. Um, I mean, I think this has to fall into the category of a public risk. I'm here in the biggest trading floor located in the heart of BGC Taguig. One thing I've learned as a currency trader, pwede tayong kumita ng pera sa Forex no matter the status of our economy. Whether the market is up or down, you can earn money. Hindi ka tulad ng stock market na when the price drops, you lose money. And Forex market ay may uncapped earning potential. Yes, you heard it right. There's no limit. Anyone can learn how to trade with the right education and the right mindset. Gusto mo bang matuto how to trade in the forex market? Potentially maging passive secondary income mo Here's your opportunity. I will be hosting a brand new web class at ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano maging profitable trader. I'll share my techniques at ituturo ko sa inyo ang favorite trading strategy ko called Trendway. By following this trading strategy and applying these trading methods, I become Learn to Trade's top trader of the year. I call myself as a lifestyle trader. I do what I, I want when I want it. Kung gusto mong malaman kung paano kumita ng pera sa pamagitan ng forex trading, do yourself a favor and click on the link somewhere around this video to register on my web. It's a free online live web class. O paano? Kita-kita na lang tayo sa webinar ko. Hi, it's Coach Anthony here from Learn to Trade Philippines. Look, hindi na po biro ang daily cases pagpasok pa lang ng January 2022 in terms of COVID cases. Thousands of cases on a daily basis. My question to you is, are you ready financially for another series of lockdown this year? Kung hindi pa, why don't you check this Forex market? Why don't you do Forex trading? Tignan mo kung pwede ito maging passive income mo on a daily basis. Yes, there's a lot of people, thousands of people are already doing this. Now, the question is, will you be part of them? Will you be with them enjoying the Forex market on a daily basis? If you want to learn more about Forex trading or Forex market, you can join my free online seminar. Tignan mo kung para sa ito at tignan mo kung kakayanin mo. I will be providing free information and will be teaching you how to do forex trading for free. Click the link below so you can register on my online seminar and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Usually it'll be something, some new technology, it will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. There will be an investigation. Years will pass. There will be some sort of insight committee. There will be rulemaking. Then there will be oversight, eventually regulations. This all takes many years. This is the normal course of things. If you look at, say, automotive regulations, how long did it take for seatbelts to be implemented, to be required? You know, the auto industry fought seat belts, I think, for more than a decade. Successfully fought any regulations on seat belts, even though the numbers were extremely obvious. If you had a seat belt on, you would be far less likely to die or be seriously injured. It was unequivocal. And the industry fought this for years successfully. Eventually, after many, many people died, Regulators insisted on seat belts. Oof. This is a this time frame is not relevant to AI. You can't take ten years from the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I mean, I think one should generally err on the side of minimizing those things. But this is a case where you have 
a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. And the intent with OpenAI is to democratize AI power. Um, there's a quote that I love from uh, Lord Acton. He was the guy that came up with power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, um, which is that uh, freedom consists of the distribution of power and despotism in its concentration. And so I think it's important if we have this incredible power of AI that it not be concentrated in the hands of a few and potentially lead to a world that we don't want. I'm not really all that worried about the short-term stuff, the things that are, um, I'm not, like narrow AI is not a species level risk. Um, it, 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 will, it will result in dislocation, uh, in lost jobs and, um, it, you know, the, the sort of better weaponry and that kind of thing. But it is not a fundamental species level risk. Well, let's talk about something fun. I, I'm at the mind that you want to go on the Mars. Shall we go to the, the Mars? Yeah. Yeah, so what will the life look like on Mars? Are you both moving? What do you think about that? I, I, I actually, I'm not interested in Mars. I just came back from there, so. <laughs> I'm more interested on the Earth, the things, what's going on happening here. So what, what, why are you so curious about the Mars? <coughs> well, I think the thing about Mars is, is that I think it's important for us to take the set of actions that are most likely to continue consciousness into the future. What increases the probability of consciousness um, of, of, of continuing into the future? I think we should not take it for granted that consciousness will continue because we have not encountered any aliens. Where are the aliens? This is the Fermi paradox. This is one of the most important questions. How come we've not found any aliens? There's people out there who think we've found aliens. Trust me, I would know. We've not. Okay. Um, <laughs> people ask me, you've been to Area 51. Okay, please. Um, SpaceX actually has Area 59. You know, it's even better, eight better than 51. So, uh, among the set of actions we can take that are likely to increase the scope and scale of consciousness such that we are better able to understand the nature of the universe. Uh, one of those actions is to become a multi-planet species or ensure that life is multi-planetary. Not because I think something that, it's, it's not, not from, from the standpoint of it just being an escape hatch or because I think that Earth is doomed, um, but there's a certain probability that is irreducible uh, that something may happen to Earth despite our best intentions, despite everything we try to do, the, the, there's a probability at a certain point that some either external uh, force or some internal unforced error uh, causes civilization to be destroyed um, or, 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 or sufficiently impaired such that it can no longer um, extend to, to another planet. It's hard to say, like, the, the, like let me put, put it another way, this is the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth that it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth. Before this, it was not possible. How long will this window be open? It may be open for a long time or it may be open for a short time. I think we should, it, it would be wise to assume that it is open for a short time. And, and, and then let us uh, secure the future, secure the future of consciousness such that life of, the light of consciousness is not extinguished. And we should do, try to do this as quickly as possible. That's my view. Good. It's so difficult to secure the future of the Earth, but we can secure the future of next 100 years. I am not the person that, I admire your courage for explore the Mars, 
but I admire a lot of people spend efforts on improving the Earth. It's, it's great to send 1 million people to the Mars, but we have to care about the 7.4 billion people on the Earth. How can we make the world more sustainable? And I'm not that fan of the Mars because I think it's easy to go to the Mars. When you go on the top of the hills or of the, of the, of the building, just one step you go to Mars, but you will never be able to come back. Yeah, that, so that's, that's my that's view. That's how it works, though. Uh, and uh, <laughs> also, also, no, don't I, do it. <laughs> I hate to go to the Himalayas too. I mean, when you climb on the, I think someday I will go there when the elevator is ready. I will go there have a look. But I, have, okay. I think people spending more time on the earth, think about because no matter how long the civilization of the human beings will be, like one million or two million or half a million years, but we only have 100 years. Uh -huh. So we cannot solve all the problems for future, but we have to be responsible for the future, but we should care more about how we can enjoy better. Every time when I read the news about you are interested in the outside space, I look at you with great respect. We need a heroes like you, but we need more heroes like us, working hard on the earth, improving things every day. That's what I want. Sure, I, I mean, to be clear, I'm very pro-earth. Yeah. Uh -huh. Great, that sounds great. Um, to be clear, I'm very pro-earth. When I say, you know, us becoming a multi-planet species or making life multi, uh, ex extending life beyond earth, um, expanding the scope and scale of consciousness. Um, from a resource standpoint, I'm talking about less than 1% of Earth's resources should be dedicated to uh, making life multiplanetary or making consciousness multiplanetary. So, uh, you know, I think it should be like somewhere in between uh, how much we spend on lipstick and how much we spend on healthcare. Like, uh, you know, things like for the preservation of consciousness, we should spend maybe slightly more than we spend on, on cosmetics. That's my, you know, and I'm pro cosmetics. I like it; they're great. But, but uh, you know, this is probably worth spending. I don't know, some like at least half a percent of Earth's GDP on extending life to be multiplanetary. Maybe one percent. I'd say seems like a good, a good use of resources. Uh, and but then 19, you know, we have like two orders magnitude more resources spent on Earth. So it's not like it's, uh, you know, somehow gonna fundamentally impair Earth. If, 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 if like I said, just 1% of Earth resources on that order should be enough to make life multiplanetary. It seems like a wise investment for the future. What about immigration? Like from where? You know? From yeah, you want to go to space, you know, the Mars. The Mars will immigrate. Yeah, Mars the, needs at least people here, probably. Like, Mars needs people. Yeah, it, 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 Mars yeah. needs people. You know, there's no, zero people there right now. So right now it's just a machine planet. There's only some robots yeah. there. This is something that we should uh, pay special attention. That's why the, 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 the 80 million new babies born in China, which was less than like only like 1% or something, we should spend more time create these people and treat life better. Should be with dreams. It's the not technology change the world. It's the dreams behind the technology that change the world. So my, my hope is that anything we can do is to improve this world, to helping 7.4 billion people live better and live healthier. And this is all about our world. And uh, I think we will be working very happily because I, I love your product, Tesla. You know, making world cleaner and uh, no noise and uh, the, the, so, so, such great technology. I'm happy you have a, the factory in China. And I think we need to do more things to improve this earth, improve this world.
Try the new Amlin 3X and get extra savings. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. And people should not work this hard. I'm not, they should not do this. This is too, it's very painful. Painful in what sense? Uh, it's, it, hurts my, it hurts my brain and my heart. Particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Uh, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So. Uh, Work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the the thing I would I would say. If if you particularly if you're starting a company, um, and I mean, if you do simple math, you say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as uh, the other company. You just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. And it's then. A lot of work. That, that, that all those things improve the odds of success. Um, right. I mean, if, 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 if other people are putting in 40-hour work weeks and you're putting in 100-hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve. You, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. What was your biggest failure and how did it change you? We, we almost did die at SpaceX, actually. So we, I budgeted for, for three flights. Um, I mean, technically, I, I did have a plan where I, I had, a, had, this, had the money from PayPal. I had like about 180 million from PayPal. And I thought, you know, I'll, I'll allocate half of that to SpaceX and Tesla and Solar City, and um, that should be fine. I'll have 90 million, like it's just lots, you know. Uh, but but then what happened is um, things cost more and took longer than. And I thought, so I had a choice of either put the rest of the money in or the companies are going to die. Um, and it's like, so I, put, I ended up putting all the money in and, and borrowing money for rent from friends. Um, 2008 was brutal. Um, yeah, 2008, we had the third consecutive failure of the Falcon 1 rocket for SpaceX. Um, Tesla almost went bankrupt. We, we closed our financing round 6 p.m. Christmas Eve 2008. It was the last hour of the last day that it was possible. We would have gone bankrupt two days after Christmas otherwise. SpaceX is alive by the skin of its teeth, so is Tesla. Um, if, if things had just gone a little bit the other way, it, both companies would be dead. And I, and I had, like one of the most difficult choices I've ever faced uh, in life was, was in 2008. Um, and um, I think I had uh, like maybe $30 million left, or $30 or $40 million left in 2008. And I had two choices. I could put it all into one company, and then the other company would definitely die, um, or split it between the two companies. And, but if I split it between the two companies, then both might die. Um, and you know, when you put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating something, or building something, it's like a child. Um, and so, it's like, which one am I gonna let one starve to death? I couldn't bring myself to do it, so I, put, I, I split the money between the two. Fortunately, thank goodness, uh, they both came through. Tesla really faced a severe uh, thre threat of death uh, due to the Model 3 production ram. Essentially, the company was bleeding money like crazy, and and just if, if we didn't solve these problems in a very short period of time, uh, we would die. Uh, and it was extremely difficult to solve them. How close to death did you come? We, yeah, within single digit weeks. 22 hours a day, or like what, how many yeah, hours? I was working, yeah, so seven days a week, sleeping in the factory. Uh, I worked everywhere from the, I worked in the, I worked in the paint shop, general assembly, body shop. Do you ever worry about yourself imploding? Like it's just yeah, too yeah. much? absolutely. I think failure is bad. Um, I don't think it's good. Um, mm -hmm. 
But if, if, if something is important enough, then you, you do it even though the risk of failure is high. Were you a little naive when you thought I'll just, I can easily build, build an electric car and, and a rocket? I didn't think it would be easy. Um, I th like I said, I thought they would probably fail. Um, but you know, like creating a company is almost like having a child. So it's sort of like, how do you say your child should not have food? So one, once you have the company, you have to feed it and nurse it yeah. and <laughs> take care of it of it, even if it, it ruins you? Yeah. But uh, suppose in, there were some tough times in uh, 2008, end of 2008. How did you get through that period of crisis? Yeah. Can we just break for a second? Sure, 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 yeah, of course. Yeah. You want to wait a little while? Man, I sure hope it was worth it. Sure hope so. Me. Sure hope it was worth it. Well, there's a ton of failures along the way, that's for sure. Like, so for, as, I, as I said, for, for SpaceX, the first three launches failed. And uh, we, we, we actually were just barely able to scrape together enough parts and, and money to do the, the fourth launch. If that fourth launch had failed, we would have been dead. So multiple failures along the way. Um, I tried very hard to, to get the right expertise in for, for SpaceX. I tried hard to, to find a great uh, chief engineer for the rocket, but it, not, the good chief engineers wouldn't join, and the bad ones, well, there was no, no point in hiring them. So I ended up being chief engineer of the rocket. Um, so if I could have found somebody better, then we would have maybe had less than three failures. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil I, Armstrong, yeah. Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that um, because those guys are you know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. Did you expect them to cheer you on? So they're hoping they would. Something that can be helpful is fatalism, uh, to some degree. Um, if you just if you just accept the probabilities, um, then that diminishes fear. Uh, so, um, when starting SpaceX, I thought the odds of success were less than ten percent, um, and I just accepted that actually probably I would just lose lose everything. Um, but that maybe we would make some progress if we could just move the ball forward, even if we died, maybe some other company could pick up the baton and move and keep moving it forward um, so that we still do some good um, yeah same with Tesla I thought you know, the odds of a car company succeeding were extremely low in creating these companies we thought that we would be successful um, I thought that the most likely outcome was failure um, but but it was still worth doing even though the, the odds of success were low in fact even for, for, for SpaceX the Originally, what I started doing was not creating a rocket company, but, but actually was going to do um, a small mission to Mars, which was just a philanthropic mission where you, you would send a, a small greenhouse with seeds and dehydrated gel. And the, would, um, upon landing, hydrate the gel, and you'd have this cool picture of green plants on a red background. And the public tends to respond to precedence and superlative. So this would be the first life on Mars, furthest that life's ever traveled. Um, and you'd have this great money shot of green plants on a red background. So, um, yeah, I thought that would, that would get people's attention. So, um, but, but the expectation for that was, was no return. So the expect, I, I thought we, we wouldn't get any, uh, you know, just spend the money on that and it wouldn't, wouldn't happen. If, if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to uh, 
attra is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that together to create a product or service. And so, depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So, do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Um, then, I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. So, for example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Um, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's the way to go. So for, for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about are these efforts that people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. Starting a business, I'd say number one is have a high pain threshold. <laughs> that, that's it. Um, there's a friend of mine who's got a good saying, which is that starting a company is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. Okay, that's, um, that's generally what happens. Because um, when you first start a company, there's lots of optimism and things, things are great. And then, so happiness at first is high. Then you encounter all sorts of issues. Uh, and happiness will steadily decline, <laughs> and then you'll go through a whole world of hurt. <laughs> That's, and then eventually, you'll, if you succeed, and in most cases you will not succeed, um, and, and Tesla almost didn't succeed, came very close to failure, um, then if, if you succeed, then for a long time you will finally get back to happiness. You've got to make sure that that, you, that whatever you're doing is a great product or service. It, it has to be really great. And I go back to what I was saying earlier where um, if you're a new company, I mean, unless it's like some new industry or, or new market that, if it's an untapped market, or then, then uh, you have more ability to, you, this, this, the standard is lower for your product or service. But if you're entering anything where there's an existing marketplace against large entrenched competitors, then your product or service needs to be much better than theirs. It can't be a little bit better because then you put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and they say, why would you buy it as a consumer? You're always going to buy the trusted brand unless there's a difference. So a lot of times, uh, you know, an entrepreneur will come up with something which is only slightly better. Um, and it's, it's not, it can't just be slightly better. It's got to be a lot better. A well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. Um, and you should seek that from everyone you can, but particularly your friends. Um, usually your friends know what's wrong, but they don't want to tell you because they don't want to hurt you. It doesn't mean your friends are right, uh, but very often they are right. Um, and you at least want to listen very carefully to what they say. And to everyone, if you're looking for Basically, you, you should take the approach that that you're wrong. Um, you know that, that that you, the entrepreneur, are wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong. Advice I'd give to people starting companies, entrepreneurs in general, is um, really focus on making a product that your customers love. Um, and it, it's so rare that you can buy a product and and you love the product when you when you bought it. The, this is. This is, there are very few uh, things that fit into that category. And if you, if you can come up with something like that, your, your business will be successful for sure. I think uh, really um, an, an obsessive uh, nature with respect to the quality of the product um, is very important. Uh, yeah, so, you know, being obsessive compulsive is, is a good thing in this context. Um, uh, really, really liking what you do, what, whatever area that you get into, um, Given that, you know, even if you're, if you're the best of the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Um, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. Um, you know, I, I'd say, if, if, and, and also, if, if, you, if you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you're, it'll just 
it, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you just really can't make it work, I think. When I was young, I, I, uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do uh, when, I, when I got older. Um, people kept asking me, and, and, um, but, but then things would be, would be really cool. And the reason I thought that was because um, I, I read a quote from Arthur C. Clarke, which said that a, um, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And, and that's really true. Um, if, you if you go back, say, 300 years, the things that we take a, um, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And, and that's really true. Uh, being able to see over long distances, being able to communicate, uh, being able to see over long distances, being able to communicate, having um, effectively, uh, with, with the internet, uh, a, 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 um, in, in times past. In fact, I think it actually goes beyond that because there are many things that we take for granted today that weren't even imagined in times past. They weren't even in the realm of magic. So it actually goes, goes beyond that. So I thought, well, you know, if, if, if I can do some of those things, basically if, if, if I can advance technology, then that, that's like magic and that would be really cool. Um, and the, the, I always had sort of a slight existential crisis because I was trying to figure out what, what does it all mean? Like what's the purpose of things? And um, I came to the conclusion that if, if we can advance the, the, the knowledge of the world, if we can do things that expand the scope and, and, and scale of consciousness, then we're better able to ask the right questions and become more enlightened, and, and that's really the only way forward. So, uh, so, so I, I, I studied uh, physics and business because I figured in order to do a lot of